everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com, where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to become a better and more efficient photographer. In this Q&A video, I'm going to give an overview of online photo sharing options. But first, make sure you check out my free workflow video series only available via my website. Those videos are not posted on YouTube. Okay, here is the question that I recently received. Hi Heather, I'm fairly new to photography and while I might want to start a business at some point, right now I'm just taking photos for friends and family. Since I'm not making any money, is there a quick and easy way to share the high resolution files with them? Thanks. Well, absolutely. There are several cloud-based storage options available, and it seems as, as if new ones are popping up all of the time. Many of them offer free accounts up to a certain amount of storage space, and then you can upgrade and pay for additional space. I'm a huge fan of Dropbox. I've been using the service for several years to share files, but to also sync my own. Dropbox allows you to move files, in our case we're talking about photographs, into your Dropbox folder and then access that file or photo from any of your devices, whether that's another computer, uh, mobile, etc. Obviously, stored securely in the cloud, and some even use this service as a way to back up their images. But even more importantly, in addressing the original question, it allows you to share these photos quickly and easily with your friends or clients. Now before I dive into the details of Dropbox, let me quickly say that another viable option could be Google Drive. If you have a Google account and you enjoy their interface and services, then this might be the way to go. So let's quickly compare these plans. With Google Drive, we get 15 gigabytes of space free, which I think is very generous. And with Dropbox, you only get two gigabytes of free space. However, if you notice the Dropbox Pro plan, it's $10 a month for one terabyte of space. And for Google Drive, it is $10 a month for one terabyte of space. So they're obviously very competitive. And um, the only other difference is that Google Drive offers this sort of mid-range plan for 100 gigabytes at $2 a month. So why do I use Dropbox? Well, I have the pro plan, so the cost is the same, but I've been using them for years before Google Drive was even an option. And because I value efficiency, there would have to be a really, and I mean really compelling reason for me to switch. That is, I'm not going to change my workflow which would temporarily hinder my productivity, unless there was a darn good reason. And to be honest, I like companies that focus on one area and become experts in that field. Dropbox is and has been the standard by which other cloud storage has been measured. The interface is very clean and simple and the sharing is straightforward and easy. With that being said, let me show you a few things about creating your Dropbox account and what that will look like. So all you need to do is choose sign up. And I love this. It's very straightforward. Put in your name and your email, create a password, and you are in. And then at that point, you have an account which you can access online, obviously, or you can and or download the application so that you can access it via your operating system. So that would either be Finder on the Mac or Windows Explorer on a PC. You can access that information once you've created the account by clicking on this little Dropbox icon at the top of your screen. And you can choose the folder which says, hey, show me that folder on my computer where it's at. Or you can choose web and it will show you that same folder containing the same files on the internet. Let's quickly jump back to Finder for a moment. And I wanna look at this a little further. Okay, hey, as a quick aside, um, let's just consider this bonus material. <laughs> You'll notice that I have my one password keychain in my Dropbox, and that's because I need those passwords to sync across all of my devices so that I have access to my passwords no matter where I'm at. I've also done that with a little application called Text Expander, and that's how I use my snippets. And I, I think that's probably for a future video. 
But in order to address the original question, let's say we want to share a few files or all of the high resolution files with a client. I've created this folder in Dropbox called clients. It's just as simple as creating a new folder. But what I'm going to do is open a new finder window by pressing command N on the keyboard. And I'm going to navigate to this folder called March of 2015, and it just has a client folder, and there are a few files in there. I just want to show you how this works. What I'm going to do is make this window a little smaller, and then I'm simply going to click and drag this folder called Young into Clients, and let that go, and what it's doing is it's copying those files and it's syncing them, and it did it that quickly. There were only a few files in there, but they were the high resolution. So now if I double click on clients, I see that Young is in there, and there are all of her files. Okay, and hey, a quick tip for the Mac users. If you simply click and drag this folder onto your Dropbox, it will move that folder into Dropbox. That means it is no longer sitting on your hard drive, your external drive, wherever you store your photos locally. So on the Mac, I hold down Alt or Option and I click and drag that so I make sure that I copy those files to Dropbox because I also wanna still continue to maintain them on my external hard drive, which is also backed up locally. Once those photos have been synced to Dropbox, and you can tell that they're done by the green check mark, you can simply right click on the folder, and there's a couple of things you could do. You could choose share this folder view on Dropbox. What I'm gonna do is share Dropbox link, because when I do that, it automatically copies that link to my clipboard. So now I can just go into an email, send an email to the client, and paste that link directly into that email and send it off. I hope that you found this useful. If so, please like and share and make sure you subscribe for more videos. I'll see you soon. Thanks.